praise you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for your blood. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for what you're about to do. Everyone, not just in our lives, but in the lives of your people. I pray that everyone that begins to hear our sound or hear your sound, Holy Spirit, they will begin to hear, hear, hear you. That, that we may decrease and you may increase even in our lives. Spirit of God, let it be life transformation. Let it be life in for impartation. Let it be life healings in the life of your people. Father, I pray that their lives will be transformed and that their, their, their lives will never be the same again. I pray by the power of your blood, every distraction will be arrested now, brought under the order control. I ask, O Holy Spirit, that even as you get deep into your word, that the fear of the Lord, the conviction of your life, the conviction of the Holy Spirit will be spread abroad into every home, into every listener, into every ears, even into every man, woman, boy or girl, Lord, that they will be drawn and they will be impacted with the spirit of righteousness and holiness, that the fear of the Lord will come upon them in a great and mighty way. All of us will be transformed to be like you. I thank you and I give you the praise and the glory in the name of Jesus. Wonderful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So let's get ready. Hallelujah. Let's get ready. Are you, are you, are you set? Hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Rabaka Santo Rodaria Party Libi Beasties. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, we thank God for His love, for His presence. I thank God for His power. I thank God for what He's about to do in your life. Hallelujah. Galatians 2.19. Galatians 2.19. Nevertheless. Take a palabas. In an embocum brother give you shut up. Oh, Rebebe Rebebe Aparadosh. Hmm. Alabante Lebebe. Le Greketo Shobrado Rebebo Sabahas. Hallelujah. 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 Okay. You see, Valisha said, For through the law I am dead to the law, and that I may live unto God. Look at the next verse. It says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I am crucified with Christ. Hallelujah. One of the things that when you come to a place of consecration, it is a matter of stripping off the flesh. He says something, he says, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection and in the fellowship of his suffering. Now, before you come to the knowledge of the resurrection of the Lord, you must be being a journey in knowing him before he died. Hallelujah. And this is what happened to John. John was in the island of Patmos. Hallelujah. And before he got there, he, was, he went through several trials. He went through several difficulties. He went through several... Um, 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 he had to overcome the voices of the flesh. Hallelujah. Many times they would be brought before um, these guys who would persecute them, make, make, making sure that they deny their faith. Hallelujah. But instantly they stood with God. They stood instantly. Amen. And they gathered the scriptures, even in their hearts, with all due diligence. It's not like now what we do, what happens to us. Many times in our lives and destiny, we get tested. I mean, tested extremely. Hallelujah. And so what I want to start with today is something within we need to look deep into our hearts. There are many things that we've allowed the flesh to manifest, to take its roots, to be a voice. And many times, every time he says, you know what, Lord, I want to consecrate myself. I want to kill the flesh. I want to come to that place whereby he says, no, you devil, you cannot have it. You cannot have your way in, your, in my life. Hallelujah. You cannot what? Every time you, you say, Lord, you know what? I, I cannot allow the devil to take his roots, to take his hold in my life. Something happens in your life. Hallelujah. Something happens in your life. Once you begin to repent, deep repentance. When the spirit of repentance come upon you, you begin. You must repent of what, how you did or how you behaved at your work. You must repent. How you treated your neighbors, you must repent. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, one of the keys of consecration is not just asking God five minutes and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me for my sins. And you go back into what you do. No. The devil knows the power of consecration. Let me give you an example. In Joshua chapter 3. Joshua chapter 3.
Father, let hidden mysteries be unveiled. Huh. I'm, I could sense that the Lord, angels of God, wants to minister something to me. I'm telling you, I could sense there is an impartation that I'm about to receive. Let me. I'm telling you, I'm saying something very unique. I sense a great impartation that is about to take place. There's a great manifestation of his glory that is about to fall. I'm telling you right now, the power of God, I just sense something in the realm of the spirit. And I'm going to pray and I'm going to pray more, 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 more. I'm going to pray more. Hallelujah. So that his glory will come. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release the strength of God. I release the power of your presence. I release Holy Spirit and Lord in the name of Jesus. That Father, Hallelujah. Rada rebe bege bia brando rebe boko jele mandali rebe bega brando rebe baka ze pantele be bia baradi Lord we bless your name we bless your name we bless your name we bless your name raba ba rebe bege rebe bia baradish John Brenda Rebe Bega Baradish. Lord, I am praying right now by the power of your spirit that angels will be released right now. Oh God, let the hidden mana, the hidden mysteries regarding consecration be revealed now. Be revealed now. Be revealed now. Father, Lord, begin to stir up the rivers. They'll stir up the rivers right now. Father, we want to eat of the mana, the mysteries you have for us. I pray that the very depth of your heart, the revelations, oh God, unveil within your world, unveil within your world, the very revelations regarding how to purify consecrate our lives be revealed be unveiled before us holy spirit bring us closer to you take us to that river of your glory where we are washed and will never be the same where we are washed to be like you father sanctify father cleanse us from deep within remove the veil remove the sins remove the iniquities in the name of jesus holy spirit i pray that lord you will release your light maka ro shebehe mele bentili in the name of Jesus right now let the anointing of your presence let the anointing of your glory let the anointing of your presence be upon us in Jesus name we pray Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah Amen hmm. uh, Thank you Lord Jesus in the book of Zechariah chapter 3 Something very, very unique. Something very, very unique. He showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord. Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And the angel, and the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, my God and my Father. Let thy hand be upon this prayer line by the power in the blood. By the power in your blood. Say this loud and clear. Say this loud and clear. See, every force of the wicked, every power from hell, Blocking the manifestation of God in my life. Say scatter by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ragaza barada rebebe gabaradia. Lebranda rebebe gabarebe gabaradi. Rogodo rebebe rebebe gabarebe gabaradia. Open your mouth. Ilege de lebebe rebebe gabarebe gabaradi. Rababa rababa gabarebe rebebe gabarebe gabaradi. Say scatter by fire. Legrada rababa rebebe gabarebe bing. Rege de rebebe rebebe gabarebe gabaradi. Izog rege de rebebe rebebe gabarebe bia. Ragada rababa rababa gabarebe gabarebe bia. Irege de rebebe rebebe gabarebe bia. Every Bagada raba barebe bega barading, e rogodo rebe rebe bega barebe bia, e gragada raba baraba barebe bia. I say scatter by fire, by the power in the Holy Ghost. Rege de rebe rebe bega barebe bia, rege de rebe rebe barebe bega barading. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Are you ready for prayer? Say this loud and clear. Say every witchcraft food <laughs> that, 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 every witchcraft food polluting my destiny. I purge you out by fire. Legreke paragazia, I purge you out by fire. E regereke dere bebeke bria. E lagraka zebra katia. Every strange food, every food of pollution. Regge be regge deria barakadia. I purge you out. I flush you out from my body. E regge barakadia. E regge dere bebeke bere bebeke bria. Legraka zebra dere bebia. I purge you out by fire. I purge you out by fire. Regge barakazakaria. By fire, by 
Matonda, Elek Raka Zakaria, Eraka Raka 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 Deria, Elabra Baba Raba Raba Bagabaya, Eraka de Reba Berbebia, Elabra Gada Rebebia, Ereba Berbebia, Araba Baba Rebebe Gabaya. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every wish for power. Powers of my father's house. In my heavens. Blocking the glory of God in my life. Powers of my father's house. We scrap powers in my heavens. Blocking the glory of God in my life. Scatter by fire. Legraga zebra katori kataya. Regadere baby aparadia. Regadere regadereia. Every kadele bandele baby aparadia. I say scatter. 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 Egraga de regeteria. Rebebebebekia. Every wish to power. The power of my father's house. Egraga deria. Operating in my heavens. I say scatter by fire. I say scatter by fire. Elagaba. E mantara na kazi braha, iro koto robobo, iro bebe kabaradi. I say skata, I say skata, I say skata, I say skata, I say skata. Regadiria, regadere bebe kabere bebia, regadere bebe kabaradia, regadiria, 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 regadiria. Barada rababa ya. In Jesus' name we pray. Every power that says I will not fast this weekend. Every power that weakens me from fasting. Every power anointed to make me not to fast. Die by fire! Every power that says, Elebra, I will not be successful in my fast this weekend. I said, Die by fire. Die, 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 die. Every force of the wicked. My God and my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Strangers in my temple. Strangers in my temple. Scatter, scatter, scatter by fire. Every stranger in my temple, every stranger in the temple of God, I pull you out by fire. I cast you out of my temple by the power in the blood. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Ragada, Rebebe, Rebebe, Kabaradi, Ligranda, Rebaba, Rebebe, Kabaradi, I say scatter by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Fire of God, invade my temple. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Regade, Rebaba, Rebebea, Igaragada, Rabakatoria. Fire of God fall upon my temple. E rabba barra gadiria. E regadere bebe gadere bebe apa. E laban tele bebe kapaya. E le regadere bebe gabarading. My God, let your fire fall on me. Rabba ba rebebe baradaria. Regadere bebe rebebe gadere bebe ya. Rebebe rebebe gadere bebe ya. La grada rabba rebebe rebebe ya. Rebebe rebebe gabaradish. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Holy Ghost, are you ready for prayer? Hmm. Le bra ba ba rebebia. 
Holy Ghost, make me hungry, hungry, hungry for you. Make me hungry for the Lord. Make me hungry, 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 hungry for the things of God. Go ahead and begin to pray. Lord, make me hungry for the things of God. Make me hungry for the things of God. In Jesus' name we are praying. You know why we are why we are why we are praying sincerely. Amen. Why we are praying sincerely, asking the Lord to do something very unique, something very powerful with us. Even the devil too is also looking for how he can also bring a level of oppression, a level of deception, a level of warfare against us. Hallelujah. The devil is also looking for how he can make our vessels, amen, a, a, a temple to be used by him. Hallelujah. So you're going to ask the Lord, say every deposit of wickedness, every deposit of witchcraft, every deposit of wickedness, say with boldness, every deposit of witchcraft, every deposit of wickedness, in my life be uprooted by fire be uprooted by fire be Jam branda raba rebebega rebebia e regede rebebega rebebia e raba raba rebebega rebebia in the name of Jesus thank you lord jesus raba baba raba baka zabradosh in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah what the mighty god we serve glory to god Mumbra da rabaka shede behas. Ile mantele bebe abaradosh. Rabanto roba bore bebe kabaradish. Ili balabando roba boyo brando de bebeosh. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, thou art so welcome in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Somebody say consecration. Hallelujah. Now, let's, now I guess you are ready now. You ready for what God is about to do? And your life will never be the same again. Amen. I want to, Lord, give us the grace, the power, and your presence to minister fully in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, one of the things that is always beautiful is to have a union with Christ. Amen. Many times, God chooses to do things with us. But when you begin to realize and focus on what has defiled us, hallelujah. Amen. When you begin to understand the things that the enemy places upon us. Now, you read the scripture. Uh, the book of Revelation talks about, it says, the bride has made himself ready. Hallelujah. The bride has made himself ready. How does the bride make himself ready? Hallelujah. In this very season, amen, we must understand that what God wants to do with us is unbelievable, very unique, unbelievable. Get yourself ready for get yourself ready for the manifestation of his power and his presence in your life. Once you come to the place of consecration, is a place whereby the ego finds the mountain top. Hallelujah. And it begins to hide. We see that scripture, hallelujah, in Isaiah chapter uh, let's quickly go there quickly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, my Father. Lobe kapom to bahadi ishtis. Isaiah chapter 40. Dali bante lebebe kabaradosh. Iman de lebebe abaradosh. Thank you, Father. Lebala Madura Bebio Shubradas. 
We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name. You know, I just I feel the presence of God. Um, hallelujah. 29, 40 verse 29. He gave her power to the faint and to them that have no might. To them that have no might. He gave her power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increased strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall be utterly failed. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. So it says, He give a power to the faint and to them that have no mighty increase of strength. Even the youth shall faint. The youth who are vibrant, the youth who are joyful and strengthful and for the Lord. He says they can go with only one encounter. But there's going to be a time they will become weary again. There's going to be a time where they get weak again. He says, and the young men shall utterly fail because when they go in their own strength and they depend on themselves, they will fail one of these days. But they that do wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Now, stop there. What does it mean to wait upon God? What does it mean to wait? The word wait. Okay. Hallelujah. Many times we go to an appointment. Hallelujah. And when the dentist says, you know what, come, um, um, we, you need to do come for a checkup. And um, they don't tell you, come tomorrow. They don't say, come today. You know, they look at the schedule and sometimes they say, you know what? Three weeks from now, you're going to come. We're going to book, book you for an appointment. Sometimes it's going to be two months. We're going to book you for an appointment and um, you're going to be waiting. So during that time, you're going to be waiting and whatever it is. And so many times, if it's very it's a critical case that you need to do or surgery or whatever it is, they put you in a waiting room. And sometimes, even if it's an emergency, you still go there and you're looking for how you can see the doctor. Hallelujah. Now, waiting, waiting, the time what you call waiting, a lot of things take place. You can get easily distracted when it comes to waiting. Now, in the terms of God, how do you wait upon the Lord? How do you wait upon God? Amen. The first thing you want to do is to keep your mind on God. You're not waiting for any man, you're waiting for God. So, in other words, you pull away, you get so distracted from everybody, you isolate yourself and you you zero your focus to him hallelujah i love that scripture that I talked about in psalm psalm 34 psalm 34 you say something you look at that scripture psalm 34 hardly upon to lebon psalm 34 thank you lord i must thank you for i must thank you uh, for your patience today, there were so many noises, so many things I had to do today. I apologize. Psalm 34, hallelujah. He says, verse 5, uh, verse 4, he said, I sought the Lord, he heard me, delivered me from all my fears. He said, they look unto him and were enlightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Hallelujah. One of the power of consecration is that you position yourself, you begin to look at him. Hallelujah. You, 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 you zero your eyes on the Lord, and you are so focused on the Lord that is nothing bothers you, nothing distracts you. Hallelujah. When you come before that place, it's like you begin to imagine him. Through your imagination, through your thoughts, everything is about the Lord. Hallelujah. And when you begin to do that, something will begin to erupt. There's a hunger that comes in. in. Well, I, I tell you something. Sometimes people say they want to fast. People say they want to go in extended fasting. They want to do this. They want to do that. And many times, the only reason you can do that, amen, is for you to really go to that place of really waiting upon him. You cannot fast without a hunger. The Bible says, love your Lord with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your spirit. Amen. But the best way in waiting upon the Lord, the best way to have an encounter with Him, they, listen to me, you are not meeting, though He's humble, though God is very humble, but you must understand that He's the creator of the universe. If your father, your earthly father says, son, my daughter, dress up, we are going to meet the president now, President Donald Trump, no matter how you dislike him, or no matter how if you even like him, he says, let's go meet Donald Trump. We've been invited to come see him. There is something that you have to do. You have to position yourself. You have to position yourself. Hallelujah. 
position yourself and how do we do that how do we do that Amen. How do you do? How do you position yourself even before the Lord? I want to. I want to encourage you. Mm. I want to encourage you and show you how to position yourself before the Lord. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. All right. Let's go to Numbers chapter eleven. Numbers chapter 11. Numbers chapter 11, verse 16. It says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Gather unto me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom thou knowest to be the elders of the people, officers over them. Bring unto them unto the tabernacle of the congregation, that they may stand there with thee. And I will come down and talk with thee there. Look at now. God is about to come to minister to the people. He said, I will take off the spirit which is upon thee and put it upon them, and they shall bear the burden of the Lord, which, 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 with thee, that thou bear it not thyself alone. Hallelujah. And say thou unto the people, sanctify yourselves tomorrow. Hallelujah. God is not giving them a, a today's appointment. He's giving them tomorrow's appointment. Sanctify yourselves against tomorrow. Ye shall eat flesh. For ye have wept in the ears of the Lord, saying, Who shall give us flesh to eat? Hallelujah. Let's go down. Amen. Let's go down. We're going to see something here. Glory to God. One of the things that we, we, we began to see was the level of consecration. When God began to call the elders, hallelujah, he, said, he told them, he said, begin to wash your clothes, come now, and then purify yourself, cleanse yourself, hallelujah. Because why? God was about to purify. Every time God called Moses, Moses had to evaluate his heart. Moses had to, the Bible says he was there on the, for six days. And on the seventh day, even though the glory cloud was there, on the seventh day, God began to minister. When you, when you come to the place whereby you approach the throne of grace, the first thing you must begin to understand that to have an effective visitation remember this now god will only come to the degree of your consecration to the level of your because your consecration positions you more to receive from him your position your consecration your purity positions you to receive more from the lord hallelujah less purity hallelujah less purity will not give will not less purity in your heart releases the less impartation from the lord Hallelujah. The more you want impartation from the Lord is the more you consecrate and you purge your temple. Hallelujah. You must circumcise your heart. There are secret sins. There are secret strongholds that are attached to your heart because of the idols of your heart. But when you begin to remove the idols from your heart, eliminate all those things, then the glory of God will begin to come in. Hallelujah. Jesus bought, drove all those that bought and sold in the temple. Hallelujah. But at some reason, the Bible says after he drove all of them, the sick came to him and he healed them. That is what happens. When they are demons they are strangers in your temple you might pray for the sick you might pray for people but you will not get a healing impartation you might try to get a revelation you will not get nothing from the lord you will not receive nothing no eyesight god will not be able to reveal something to you why because there's so much idols in your heart hallelujah but the removal of the idols the clearing of the idols away releases now the power of god releases the glory of god to begin to fall upon your life begin to fall upon your temple hallelujah amen I bless God for what God is about to do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. They that do wait upon the Lord shall be strong and they shall do exploit. They that do wait upon the Lord, they shall be what? They that don't know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Hallelujah. Amen. But they that will do wait upon the Lord, verse 31, it says, What the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. They will mount up with wings as an eagle. They that do wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. 
in waiting get enticed with the word of god we saw jesus was so affiliated with the word of god so when the devil was speaking to his mind god jesus was responding through the word of the lord the first thing you want to engage yourself is the word of god hallelujah get through the book of psalms pray the book of psalms begin to remove your sins disentangle yourself from every iniquity from every sins hallelujah amen look at one powerful scripture that talked about how we can deal with prayer look at what it says in um joel look at it says joel chapter 2 in the book of joel chapter 2 joel 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 2 i love this scripture hallelujah he said blow ye the trumpet in zion sound an alarm in the holy mountain let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand a day of darkness and gloominess a day of cloud thick darkness as the morning spread on the mountains a great people strong they had not been ever the like neither shall there be any after it even to the even even to the years of many generations now god is talking about the judgment coming hallelujah the judgment coming we don't have time to read all through hallelujah but look at what it says now god began to mention the judgment that was about to take place and the terrible vengeance of the lord if you're not ready get ready because <laughs> and god is not saying now this is how you escape the rage of god this is how you escape the judgment of god this is how you escape that coming rage wrath of god hallelujah he now says in that scripture he says verse 12 verse 11 and the lord shall utter his voice before his army and his camp is very great for he is strong that executed his word for the day of the lord is great and very terrible who can abide in it who can dwell in that day when you are not in the lord's side hallelujah but look how it says in verse 12 he says now also now therefore now also see the lord turn ye even to me with all of your heart with all of your heart with not partially not partial heart when you want to go into some serious fasting like 40 days serious fasting like seven days fasting the 21 days fasting you have to turn your heart turn your heart totality of your heart it needs all of your heart all of your might all of your strength hallelujah therefore also now see the lord turn ye even unto me with all of your heart with fasting with fasting fasting needs to be applied to it turn it for the lord to receive your prayers for the lord to show you mercy for the lord to receive the, the cries of your heart he said what turn with me with fasting and with what with weeping weeping is needed you need to share tears in a place of prayer you need to share tears for your family you need to repent for yourself for your destiny for your children in the ways you've treated people repent in the sins of the people repent you need to carry the burden of the lord upon you in the place of fasting ask the lord to use you ask the lord lord you know i want to be a vessel unto righteousness if you are a, if, if you want the joseph anointing you need to be weeping you need to weep for nations you need to weep for their sins you need to weep that god will use you to release the message of god the message of the gospel to this end time hallelujah many nations are suffering many nations are perishing hallelujah but you when you begin to cry to god in this season lord use me lord use me lord use me in any way that i've made mistakes in any way i've fallen from grace my father lord have mercy in any way my church has disobeyed in any way my pastor has rebelled against you in any way the members of the congregation have defiled your temple lord we're asking for mercy for mercy for mercy do you hear me today hallelujah Makate Banto Baha. When you begin to cry to the Lord and say, Lord, have mercy upon me, show me your mercy, your lovely kindness. God will God is obligated to hear your prayers. Amen. The Bible says in that um so let me let we continue to read the scripture. Hallelujah. It says now with weeping and with mourning amen with weeping and with, with mourning hallelujah when you begin to weep amen hallelujah is a sorrowful heart cry it's a very deep 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 prayer when you reach that level whereby you begin to weep you begin to weep god is breaking something from your life hallelujah and then you begin to mourn you begin to your mourning now you are feeling very 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 guilty you're feeling very bad i wish you had done this hallelujah and so in that place now you are not embracing uh, in that second chronicles it says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and repent and turn from their evil ways then will i hear from heaven hallelujah job um job i think job 2 verse 22 or something yes yeah acquaint now thyself amen and thereby good shall come upon thee acquaint now thyself and thereby good shall come upon thee job 20 uh, job 2 um job 2 verse 20 hallelujah 20 to 22 
and thereby good shall return upon thee. Acquaint now thyself, thereby good shall return upon thee. Hallelujah. Amen. Islam says in verse 13, it says, rend your heart and not your garments. Rend your heart. People just tear garments. That is an outward look. People wear black. People wear... No, 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 no. no. Your heart, your heart, your heart, which is the seat of emotions. Your heart is where that houses all these kind of idols. Amen. Hallelujah. Around you. Amen. So when you begin to pray to God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, cleanse me from within. Cleanse me, O oh God. Wash my heart. Wash my temple in the name of Jesus Christ. Rend your heart and not your garments. Turn unto the Lord for he is gracious and merciful. Slow to anger. Hallelujah. What God is trying to tell you is that don't let the don't let don't let the guilt of the enemy begin to speak against you. Don't let the voice of guilt, don't let the voice of condemnation begin to minister to you. Why? Because the Lord your God is gracious. He's a merciful God. He's slow to anger. He's great is of great kindness hallelujah his kindness is so humongous hallelujah no matter the sins you've committed no matter the immorality you've committed no matter what you've done every act of wickedness that have emanated from you no matter this act of wickedness you might have killed people through witchcraft whatever it is god still has an open door to forgive you but don't return back to your sins rend your heart not your garment you must break your heart when you come to the place of brokenness hallelujah god thereby begins to receive your sacrifice because every prayer you begin to pray god will begin to answer hallelujah god will begin to what answer your prayer Amen. That is the hand of the Lord. When God begins to release His grace, He begins to release His favor, He releases His power, He releases His anointing upon you, something will begin to change in your life. I'm praying for you today that by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, every mistake you've done, God will begin to show pardon upon your life, pardon upon your family. I pray for you that even as you begin to repent for yourself, amen, God bless you, woman of God. As you begin to repent for yourself, hallelujah, make sure you are repenting for your family, repenting for your children, repenting for your husband. Amen. Just para adventure so that the message of god can be released amen amen job understood this he began to pray repenting for everyone hallelujah asking god for internal strength hallelujah he made sacrifice for each one of them hallelujah look at what it says in verse 14 who knew it if he will return and repent leave a blessing behind him even a meat offering a drink offering unto the lord your god you must get a sacrifice amen amen fasting is not an easy approach Hallelujah. I don't know who I've told you that fasting is very easy. Fasting is not an easy approach. It's a place of fasting. In a place of fasting is sacrifice. You are a living sacrifice. Present your body as a living sacrifice before him. Holy. Amen. Hallelujah. The word holy means sanctify, separate. Amen. Separate. Don't defy yourself by the voices of the flesh, voices of carnality, by the invitation from hell. Amen. Stand out. Stand out to your consecration. Hallelujah. Look at what it says in verse 15. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sanctify a fast. Call a solemn assembly. That is what we are doing. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. That is what we are doing. Hallelujah. Gather the children and those that suck the breast. So it means that even the babies, bring them forth. Let them go into fasting. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. What is God saying? All those who want to meet with the Lord, all those who want to have a visitation with the Lord, this is a time to sanctify yourself. It's just three days, three days. On it says, Jesus says, Be destroy this temple on and on the third day will I raise it up. On the third day will I build up the temple. Three days is very powerful. It's a powerful, powerful, powerful. Today I want you to get yourself ready, put yourself together. Amen. Hallelujah. And let verse 17, let the priests. And the ministers of the Lord weep between the pouch and the altar. Hallelujah. When you see this, you understand. Those who want to be a priest of the Lord. We are not priests. We are not priests of the Lord. Kings and priests of the Lord. Hallelujah. But when you become a priest in your family, it says, let them weep. Let them weep between the pouch and the altar. You must have an altar in your house. Hallelujah. And let them say, spare thy people. Spare thy people. Not yourself, but spare the people of God. Not yourself, but spare your family people not just yourself but spare the people oh god wherever you meet the people who are attached to you lord show them mercy this is what job began to do for his family hallelujah let the priests and the ministers of the lord we be between the porch and the altar spare thy people give not thy heritage to reproach what is the heritage to reproach the meaning don't let your heritage fall in the place of shame do not let shame take the heritage of the lord that the heathen should rule over them let not the heathen rule over us amen as we repent because when we go into sin, the heathen are allowed to rule over our lives. I pray for you today that as you go to the place of consecration, amen, 
God will begin to release the blessings of God. God will begin to purge your very temple. Hallelujah. It will begin to cleanse you from within. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You must get ready for the actions of the Lord Jesus Christ as he ministers to you his presence, as he ministers to you his power, as he ministers to you his Shekinah glory. As you hear the sound of my voice, I pray for you. Amen. Because God is about to cause you to mount up with wings of like an eagle. God is about to cause you to spread your wings. Amen. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is about to fall upon you with fresh oil, with fresh oil, with fresh oil, with fresh oil, that you begin to accomplish the things that you've never done before. You begin to get blessed like never before. All the things that has passed you by, God will begin to restore. He will begin to restore. He will begin to restore in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bible to the book of Daniel quickly. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I read from verse 8. But Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the priest of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Hallelujah. Amen. Fasting, that's what fasting does, is to remove every form of defilement in your life, every form of defilement in your family. Amen. Defilement give, authorizes the devil to torment you. Defilement authorizes the devil to oppress you. De defilement causes you not to abide in the secret place of the Most High. Defilement opens the door to the enemy are you telling me today when the family is in play hallelujah not you do will you will give you total security amen god the blood of jesus can protect you it can be a shield upon you hallelujah but the more holy you are causes the brightness of god that shakes the devil that intimidates the devil hallelujah the more brighter you are the more you're able to abide in that secret place of the most high god hallelujah amen um but the king purpose the devil daniel purpose in his heart that he will not defile himself with the king's deities hallelujah look at what it says in verse 9 verse 9 verse 9 verse 9 verse 9 look at what it says there praise god jesus he says in verse 9 now god had brought daniel into favor now god brought daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs hallelujah hallelujah the one of the things you must have too is you must understand that then when you propose your, your propose in your heart and says lord i want to do this i want to walk in a place of holiness i want to walk in a place of righteousness i want to remove every filth in my life something happens upon you the day you make that decision god to make his decision to increase your favor to increase the level of favor in your life and that is what happens hallelujah we see something also too in the book of zachariah zachariah chapter 3 Hallelujah. And we see that this has been an activity that has affected the life of people. Hallelujah. Daniel chapter 3. Oh, Zechariah chapter 3. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. In verse 1, he says something very unique. He says, And he showed me Joshua the high priest, standing before the angel of the lord and satan standing at his right hand to resist him satan stood there to resist him some something was empowering giving the, the devil confidence to oppose or to resist joshua joshua was a, not just a priest he was a high priest amen high priest highly highly priest this high priest was same position with presidents back in the days of old this high priest was the one who anointed presidents anointed kings anointed leaders Hallelujah. Glory be to the living God. Can you hear me very clearly? Amen. Are you hearing me clearly? Periscope, are you there? Let me know if you're hearing me. If you're distracted. Let me know, please. Hallelujah. Are we well? Periscope, I like some likes and some hearts. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, many of you are very quiet today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. And you see, Joshua the high priest was standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan was standing on his right hand to resist him. 
right hand is the symbolism of power the right hand of god is the place of power but the devil stood there to resist his authority and the lord said unto satan the lord rebuked thee O satan the lord had as the lord had chosen jerusalem rebuke thee is not this a brand plucked out of the fire plucked out of the fire there is a brand God, the Lord had chosen Jerusalem, rebuked thee. Now Joshua was clothed with a filthy garment. There was a garment that was upon him. He was wearing something that the enemy was seeing, and Joshua could not see. Hallelujah. He was clothed with a filthy garment and stood before the angel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood with him, saying, Take away the filthy garment from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thy iniquity to pass from thee. I will clothe thee. With the change of remains. Now, with the book of Isaiah, he says something very unique. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah said, I have seen the glory of the Lord. I dwell in the midst of unclean people. And from that day, the Bible says, a coal of fire came upon his tongue. And the Lord said, Thy iniquity have been taken away from thee. Hallelujah. So his, his own iniquity came from his mouth. In the, in, the, in the life of Joshua, he was wearing a garment. A filthy garment was upon him. God had to take it away. And sometimes, so many of the times, you have to pray to God and say, Lord, whatsoever is blocking your glory in my life, whatsoever is blocking anger in my life, whatsoever is blocking the grace of God in manifesting the power of revival manifesting in my life, oh God, remove it from me now by the power in the Holy Ghost. Are you hearing me today? Amen. Ask the Lord, Lord, remove from me, remove from me, remove from me, Lord every filth every defilement anything that will block your fire anything that will block your glory lord take it away from my life now by the power in the holy ghost go ahead and begin to talk to the lord now say lord in the name of jesus whatsoever is defiling me whatsoever is polluting me lord in the name of jesus remove it from my life now by the power in the holy ghost le brada raba baga zondo ri katara magazen telemendelistis ala brando rebe bege bebe bebe abarando rosh thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus raga zaba raba baba kashele mantele bebe kapaya o rebe bebe 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 e rebe bebe 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 mantele bantele in jesus name we pray amen lord take away the filthy garment filthy garment can come as a result of unforgiveness can come as a result of hurt hallelujah can come as a result of of of, of the, 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 the the emotions that has been released against your life today by the power of the blood when you, if you have any unforgiveness against another make sure you let go make sure you forgive hallelujah how do you forgive them lift them up in prayer amen just pray for them ask the lord lord bless them if you don't have nothing just say lord bless them i'm tired of holding them in my heart Lord, I release them emotionally. I release them from this offense. Oh, Rabbi Baby Aparadia. Oh, Shantele Baby Kepi Aparadish. Hallelujah. And so when you begin to pray, the Lord will begin to move mountains on your behalf. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. He says, And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused the iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with a change of raiment. Hallelujah. Every time this happens, when God changes your raiment, hallelujah, then he says, it's ready to bless you. It's ready to bless you. It's ready to bless you. Hallelujah. You must understand that there are various iniquities that hold individuals. There are various iniquities that plays a mighty role in our life, that stops the fire of God, that stops, that hinders the power of God from manifesting our life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want us to go to that scripture. Um... Uh, go to that scripture um, in that Galatians. You know, I'll be reading a lot of scriptures to you today, but it is well. Hallelujah. What are the things that you need to pray? How do you need to remove a filthy garments from your life? Um, I'll give you a very a huge secret. Hallelujah. Galatians uh, chapter. Galatians chapter 5. I read from For the law is fulfilled in one world, even in this, that thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Verse 15 If ye bite and devour one another, 
take heed. If ye bite and devour one another, if you're backbiting, he said, take heed. Take heed that ye not be consumed, that, that ye be not consumed one of another. Don't be judgmental towards another. Don't be judgmental of your brother, of your sister. Hallelujah. Verse 16, he says, well, then, then I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk in the spirit, and ye what will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Hallelujah. As long as you're in the what you're walking in the spirit, the desires of the flesh, the word lost, meaning desire, great passion, desire, desire. Amen. Hallelujah. You will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. These are contrary one to another that ye cannot do the things. Now I'm going further. Verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, and uncleanness. Those three things you want to spend the time praying in tongues, asking the Lord, every uncleanness, every adultery, every fornication. Now remember these now. Whether you would want to do it or you don't want to do it, the enemy will plant it in your thoughts. And the enemy was planting all kinds of thoughts in the life heart of Jesus. And it was a spirit of pride. Perform this, do this, do this, do this. And he rebuked Satan. Get thee behind me. What thank God he knew the roots behind it. Hallelujah. But when you begin to see such things and these things are manifesting, you feel like a guy, you're lost after this guy, all these things. Then the reason why those thoughts are increasing is because you've not rebuked it. Spend the time when you're praying, Lord, every seed of adultery, every seed of fornication, every seed of uncleanliness implanted inside of me, Lord, let it be uprooted. Root it out for me. Tear it out for me, O oh God. I don't want any be among them. Lord, remove every seed. Remove every negative thoughts. Thoughts of perversion. Thoughts of lust. Lord, take it away from me, O oh God. Cleanse me, O oh God. Pour Watch me, your God, with your blood. Purge me. And you begin to pray in tongues. You are weeping before the Lord. Oh God, I don't want to stain my garments. I don't want to defile myself. I want to be a pure disciple. I want to be a pure vessel before you. Holy Spirit, behold me, O oh God. Jesus will come and will release his holiness. He will release his glory. My God, I feel your presence right now. I feel your presence. I feel your presence. Lift your hands up and begin to talk to the Lord. Says, Lord, every form of uncleanliness. Every form of adultery, fornication, and uncleanness in my mind, in my thoughts, Lord, by your blood, cleanse me now. Cleanse me now. Tear away every garment of filthiness, every garment of sexual pollution, every garment of lust in my life. Lord, tear it out of me now. Tear it out. Go ahead and begin to pray. Oh, Everybody begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. Lord, by the power in the Holy Ghost. Everyone begins to pray. I want to hear your voice. Let your blood begin to wash me now. Let your blood begin to cleanse me now. Let your blood wash me now. Remove every negative thoughts, every thought of lust, every thought implanted inside of me. Oh God, root it out from me now. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. One of this, one another prayer we're going to pray to. Hallelujah. One of the prayers you're going to pray is this prayer. Hallelujah. Is um, you, when you see that other scripture, when you see this scripture, you begin to understand that it is time for us to really, whether you have been affected on, with it or not, pray it. Hallelujah. Pray it. Pray it. Pray it. Pray it. Amen. You can also pray. You know, there are some prayers that you can pray and God will really rescue you. Hallelujah. There are some prayer prayers you pray and the Lord will literally rescue you. The Lord will just keep you from the hands of the devil. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Rabobo, Rabobo, Go, Sheila, Mandele, Babias. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Mm. Hallelujah. Allah, Mandele, Babo, Go, Sombra, Hallelujah. Amen. So, in other words, when you begin to go down the list, 
you'll be realized, okay, uncleanliness. You can pray a prayer and say, Lord, Lord, don't let me fornicate and I commit adultery this year. In this year, 2018, oh God, don't let me fornicate. Oh Lord, don't let me commit adultery. Oh, oh God, don't let me mess up. Don't let me walk out of my marriage. Oh God, don't let my husband walk out of my marriage. This year, this year, this year. Oh God, keep our children. Don't let us fornicate. Don't let us commit adultery. Don't let us sin against you. Lord, in the name of Jesus. When you pray such prayers, God will hold you. Every time that temptation comes, God will protect you. Because of that little prayer you prayed, Lord, this year, don't let me mess up. This year, don't let me commit adultery. This year, don't let me commit fornication. Hallelujah. Then you go down the list. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred. Witchcraft is something that a lot of people perform in their hearts. They imagine evil against somebody and the devil takes it. Hallelujah. Just by imagining some evil. Some people imagine somebody should have an accident. It, and, and, and the devil begins to use that thoughts. Hallelujah. Uh, idolatry. Now, witchcraft is also re rooted in rebellion. Re 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 it's not just act of wickedness or imagination but it's also what in rebellion meaning stubbornness god is trying to tell you to do something and you are refusing amen and so you are really stubborn against your neighbor hallelujah so we're seeing what they call witchcraft we're seeing what they call hatred hatred is a passion meaning um god even says when you hate your neighbor it's more it's worse than what you are a, you're a murderer amen so when you hate your neighbor hallelujah when you have them hate means you want them to fail you want them to um be in darkness you just want them to just be bad hallelujah it's a negative thought so what you begin to pray to get to the lord is lord lord remove from me every idolatry idolatry what is the idols in your heart what you've celebrated what you've put ahead of god your wife can be an idol and before the lord your your husband can be an idol your children can be an idol and in the life of abraham isaac was an idol and that's why god said go and sacrifice him he didn't say go and kill him he just says put me ahead of your son if not, I will take away your son. Hallelujah. That was the simplicity. That was the, 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 the message behind it. Hallelujah. Today, you're going to talk to the Lord. Every form of witchcraft in my life, every form of rebellion, stubbornness in my life, every form of hatred in my heart, Holy Spirit, let your blood wash it, Lord. Wash my heart. Cleanse my heart. Cleanse my heart. Cleanse my heart from hatred. Cleanse my heart from rebellion, stubbornness, witchcraft. Go ahead and begin to pray. Oh, Rebebega Barandor Rababa Gazila Mantele, Ele Brando Rababa Rebebega Paradin, Zamblantele Bebege Bia Paradin, Oh, Rababa Babaka Shell, Dele Mia Baradi, every form of witchcraft, every form of rebellion, stubbornness. Oh, God, take it away from me now. Every form of hatred towards my neighbor, Rababa Kabaya, remove the seed of hatred, remove the seed of hatred in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we begin to see all these things. Witchcraft, strife, emulations. Hallelujah. Strife means the ability. You know, there are some people that they don't know that they, this is the works of the flesh. They get off. They, 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 they're not good in resolving issues. Are you they say one word to you you say one word to them and they are very quick to hang up they're not quick to call back to reconcile with you uh, they're not quick to make amendments they go to bed angry um, if you don't call them they will never make attempt to call the amen hallelujah they stay away they will stay away from reconciling for two three weeks they feel like they're okay they feel so good hallelujah they feel so good and they feel they feel like yes i'm it's just <laughs> why pride is allowing you to walk in strife you are exhibiting the works of the flesh and for every works of the flesh is an appetite um you see the mystery when god spoke to adam god spoke to the snake he said you will eat the dust what is the dust is the flesh when you walk in the flesh amen the enemy will come and begin to you become a meat to the enemy you become a meat to the enemy. The enemy will have dominion over you. When you allow anger to rule over you, when you allow the works of the flesh to rule over you, once these works of the flesh that I'm mentioning right now are exhibited in your life, as the more you are exhibited, the more the enemy begins to rule over you. Hallelujah. Begins to rule over you. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Glory to God. I pray for you today that by the power in the Holy Spirit that God will begin to reveal more, reveal more, reveal more. 
to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So, even in this time of fasting today, you begin to ask the Lord, Lord, the spirit of strife, the spirit of wrath, which is root anger. You see, anger and strife, they are together. Anger, strife, and pride, those three things. Lord, remove it from my life. Lord, I'm tired, oh God, of just hanging up on people. Give me a broken heart. Give me a tender heart. Give me a loving heart, oh God. Oh God, pour upon me, oh God, the spirit of grace. Oh God, circumcise my heart. Lord, I feel your presence. Lord, circumcise my heart. Lord, purge my heart, oh God. Lord, bring me, oh God, to that place of holiness, oh God. I want my heart to be the heartbeat of God. I want your love to flow in my heart, oh God. I'm tired, oh God, of walking in rebellion. I'm tired, oh God, of walking in strife. I'm tired of God of walking in unforgiveness. I'm tired, oh God, of manifesting in anger. Oh God, remove away the spirit of anger. Remove from me, oh God, the spirit of rage, 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 rage. Take it away from me. I don't want to be angry. I don't want to man walk in anger, even as Moses walked in anger. I don't want to walk in anger as my mother walked in anger. I don't want to walk in anger as my father walked in anger. I don't want to walk in anger, oh God. I don't want my children to walk in anger. I don't want my husband to walk in anger. I don't want my wife to walk in anger. Oh God, remove this root of anger in my family. Remove this root of anger in my life. Lord, tear it out, oh God. Tear it out from my life, Lord. Root out this spirit of anger oh god oh god oh god as you begin to pray as if from the depth of your heart you are crying you are weeping spirit of god give me the grace over this anger spirit of god give me the grace over this anger circumcise my heart oh god pull out every seed of anger pull out everything that has grieved me oh god i want to be like you oh god i want to be like you i want to be like you give me a broken heart oh god remove the hardiness the stoniness from my heart remove the insensitivity from my heart oh god Oh God, oh God, purge my heart, purge my heart. In this day of consecration, oh God, break me, break me, oh God, break me. Bring the place, bring me to that place of tenderness and humility. Bring me to the place of humility, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, remove, tear it out from my life, tear it out of my life. Tear out this ego, this stubbornness, this resistance. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. You begin to ask the Lord, Lord, circumcise, send your light into my heart. Send your light into my heart. Send your light into my heart. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Seditions, heresies. Seditions, heresies. Hallelujah. Seditions and heresies. Hallelujah. What are heresies? Amen. Hallelujah. You are asking, asking the Lord, Father, Lord, every form of heresy, every form of seditions in my life, Lord, see every day away from my life, Lord. Oh, Rabba Bakashon de Libia Parados. You make sure you take each one of them for you to your perfect your work with God. Every verse 21, envies, envy and murders. Spirit of envy. When envy comes, then you want to murder. Hallelujah. It happened for Cain and Abel. Every form of envy. In fact, the root of witchcraft, when there's a witchcraft with your brothers and family, envy leads to, uh, to, to, to murder. When people envy you, when people envy your children, when people envy the sources of your life, then they begin to go into, they want to try to kill you. They want to use witchcraft to kill you. And that's what happened. They tried to envy Joseph so much, they envied him. They envied him. And before you know, they begin to imagine how they could kill him. Hallelujah. Lord, root out every form of envy in my heart. Root out every form of envy in my family. When you begin to pray even for your enemies, and you see that maybe your mother doesn't like you, your mother hates you, your mother envies you, your mother envies the way you make money and you don't give it to her, and she now begins to want you to get fired. Lord, remove every spirit of envy from my mother. Remove the spirit of envy from her. When you pray and pray and pray and pray, listen to me, you have destroyed the root of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray, pray that, hallelujah, this is how Paul prayed, that Christ be formed in our heart. Lord, remove every spirit of envy from my children, every spirit of envy in my daughter, every spirit of envy from my husband. Lord, remove it from my life. Hallelujah, you begin to pray. Hallelujah, murders, drunkenness, ah, drunkenness, drunkenness is what you need to really pray. Lord, remove the various form of drunkenness. People drink alcohol, and when they begin to drink that and they get drunk, hallelujah, then they walk to the flesh, the devil can manifest greatly. He can use, he can murder, he can do anything if he wants to do. He can use them to kill others because that is how, once you operate in, we go to manifest, the walk to the flesh. In these areas, the devil can, you see, the devil can be channeled in doing his evil works. 
Hallelujah. You become an instrument amen, in the hands of the devil. Hallelujah. Ravelin. He said, and such of which I tell you before, as I've told you in time past, that they that do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Wow, they will not inherit it. They will not possess the kingdom of God. What does it mean to possess the kingdom of God? So if you are doing such things, if you are working in such things, it means that the kingdom of God will not abide in you. It means that the presence of God will not abide in you. It means you will not be able to tap into the mysteries of God. It means that it, to inherit the kingdom of God is to walk in the light of God, is to have complete dominion in access into the kingdom of his, his glory. You won't be visited by God. Hallelujah. Instead, you'll be visited by hell. He says, do, do that, do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. If you don't inherit the kingdom of God, what will you inherit? The kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. That's just the, 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 the simplicity about it. But then, after the prayer, you know, after you pray day one, you are repenting before the Lord in brokenness, in weeping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In weeping. In what? Weeping and mourning and in fasting. I mean, if you remember that which you read. Hallelujah. In, in, in that same Joel chapter 2, I mean, if you remember that scripture in Joel chapter 2, amen. He said, What? He said, Rent your heart. He said, It's verse 12. Therefore, also now says the Lord, Turn ye even unto me with all of your hearts, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. With fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. If you must fast, you must also weep. If you must weep, you must also mourn. Hallelujah. Rent your heart and not meet, not rent your heart and not your garment. Hallelujah. He said, Let the priest and the minister of God weep between the porch of the altar, saying, Let them spare thy people. Hallelujah. You are also crying to the Lord, Spare thy people on the prayer line, spare thy people on periscope, spare thy people who is assigned to this ministry, spare thy people, Lord God, spare the leaders. Amen. Hallelujah. After you've prayed all that, look at what it says now, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Oh God, fill me with your love. Oh God, let me be a carrier of your love. Oh God, let me be a carrier of your love. Make anoint me, oh God, to be a vessel that works in love. Fill me with your joy. Make me joyful in you. Make me joyful in you, oh God. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in my family, let us experience joy. In the midst of sorrow, let me manifest your joy. Oh God, let me walk in your peace. Let the peace of God rest upon me. Let the peace of God rest upon me. Let the peace of God rest upon me. Father, fill my mind with peace. Everywhere I go, let me be a peacemaker. Oh God, I need you. Fill me with peace, peace, peace. Hallelujah. And then you say long suffering. Father, I, I don't have this fruit in me. I want to be long suffering. Lord, anoint me so that I can walk in long suffering. This is not a gift. This is fruit. These are the things that causes you to possess the kingdom. This is what a gift gives you the ability to walk in the kingdom attributes. Hallelujah. The more the fruit of the Spirit in your life is the more of His presence in your life. What does it mean, His presence? Meaning when you talk to people, Meaning when you minister, they could feel God. They could feel the presence of God. When you have less of the fruit of the Spirit and more of the gift, they will feel the power. But after that, their lives will not be transformed. It is the presence of God that transforms a man. Hallelujah. Let the peace of God, the long-suffering of God. Long-suffering causes you to endure the shortcomings of others. Hallelujah. Long-suffering. Hallelujah. Lord, in the name of Jesus, impart this anointing upon me. Give me this grace, O oh God, to walk in your love, to walk in your passion. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, so when you begin to pray this prayer, hallelujah, you will begin to see the things of the Lord manifest in your life. O Rebebe Kepi, Highest. Hallelujah. Gentleness, goodness. Lord, make me gentle. Um, verse 23. It's a land of me. I am meek and lowly. Father, meekness of God. Temperance. Meekness makes you not to be angry. Meekness removes all the short tempers. Father, make me to walk. Help me to walk in meekness. Feel me the spirit of meekness. Feel me the spirit of temperance. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. And as you begin to pray to the Lord, you begin to see that the Lord will begin to do great things. Now, 
when you do this prayer now what is the result of these what is the result what is the reward from the lord what do you get from doing these hallelujah what do you get from doing this when you pray these prayers let me show you very quickly oh hallelujah praise god i believe thank god the lord is ministering to my sister hallelujah thank god thank god thank god now the removal of the works of the flesh is the removal of the filthy garments remember we're reading that in the book of Ze zachariah chapter 3 hallelujah and um it says look at what it says in verse 5 and um i said let them set a fair myth upon his head and they and so they set a fair myth upon his head and clothed him with garments and the angel of the lord stood by him hallelujah the angel of the lord stood by him and the angel of the lord and the angel of the lord protested unto joshua saying thus says the lord of hosts if thou will walk in my ways if thou will keep my charge then thou shalt also judge my house and shall also keep my courts. I will give thee places to walk among these that stand by. Oh, yea, now, O Joshua, high priest, thou, thy fellows that sit before thee, for they are men wandered at. For behold, I will bring forth thy servant unto the branch. For behold, the stone that I have laid before Joshua, upon one stone and upon seven eyes before i will engrave the gravings thereof says a lot of us the reason i'm a little bit tearful about the scripture because when i did my first 21 day fasting i did 40 days but 21 days fasting was so severe when i saw the lord jesus christ but towards the ending of that fast i had such an encounter it says if you walk in my ways and the lord i was taken to this place whereby i saw sadhu prophet sadhu uh, son that several actual prophesied on a drum. I saw him and I saw other prophets like him. They were all dressed the same way and they were entering the gates of heaven. I could see the, the window of heaven open. He said, It was a very deep, deep, deep encounter. I just took the word of the Lord by my treadmill by, back in Texas. I was sitting by the treadmill just trying to do a Bible study after my fast, a day after the fast, a day after the 21 day fast. As I read the scripture, uh, boom, I was in trance hallelujah i was in trance and so it brings tears to me to understand hallelujah that jesus means business if you decide to walk with him to go to that place of really sanctifying yourself in him and say lord i mean business with you let me tell you one more reward hallelujah let me tell you one more reward that comes upon those who really sanctify themselves and make themselves ready hallelujah well, time is gone already we're about to round up hallelujah but i believe that you you need to hear this and those who will watch this after is for a transformation that you'll be, you'll be transformed by this word i told you that the lord will begin to release hidden mysteries of his of of of, of this consecration to really purge us and bring us to that place hallelujah look how it says he says after you've prayed to the lord and remove every form of sin he says then will the lord be jealous for his land and pity his people then the compassion of the lord the eyes of the lord will come upon and behold you and he will begin to pour his presence upon you he will begin to show you mercy he will begin to show mercy upon your family he will begin to show mercy upon your daughter he will begin to show mercy upon your son he will begin to show love love upon the whole entirety of your family why because you prayed and you say lord spare thy people verse 17 let the priest and the ministers weep between the porch and the altar saying let them spare their people O lord give not thy heritage to reproach that the heathen should rule over them hallelujah in verse 18 it said and then the lord will be jealous for his land verse 19 yea the lord we answer and say to the people behold i will send you corn I will send you wine. I will send you oil. Provision will be made available when you begin to repent. Provision will be made available when God begins to answer your prayer. I will send you wine. I will send you oil. Wow. Corn for your food. And corn is seed. This is a harvest. This is wine to rejoice. Hallelujah. This is oil to jubilate. The oil of glory. The oil of power. The oil of his presence. Amen. Oil of joy. The oil of gladness will be released upon you. And ye and anointing. And ye shall be satisfied therewith. And I will no more 
make you a reproach among the heathen. I will no more make you a shame among the people. Amen. Hallelujah. God will begin to wipe it off. Look at verse 20. He says, but, but I will remove far from of you the northern army the northern army i will remove them from you the northern army i will drive him into a land barren and desolate meaning your enemies that's a sign against you the enemies that was enforced to make you barren because of your disobedience god says i will drive them away i will remove them off drive them into the barren land and desolate and his face towards the east gate hallelujah joel chapter 2 verse 20 Hallelujah. Joel chapter 2 verse 20. I will remove off from you the northern army. I will drive him into a land barren and desolate. The word land and barren means they, they will be trying to fight you. They will try to use all their resources to fight you. But when God drives them to a barren land, he says God will take their resources from them. God will literally strip them of their blessings. They will be stripped of their blessings and their rewards. And then all of a sudden, they begin to suffer in a desolate place. And with his face torn, torn towards the East Sea. Amen. It means that they will be afflicted on every side. His hindered part towards the utmost. So it means an enemy will arise against him. He will be so distracted. He will not have the time for you. Hallelujah. Hey. Verse 21. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. The Lord will do what great things. So Lucas says, ha, verse 23, Be glad then, ye children of Zion, rejoice in the Lord your God, for he had given you the former rain moderately, and we cause to come down for you the rain and the former rain, the later rain in the first month. Ah, my God. When you come to that place of total repentance, amen, repentance, repentance, you turn from your evil ways, you begin to repent, you take the, the, all the, the works of the flesh, the book of Galatians chapter 5, you begin to repeat every work of the flesh that, that, that is written there, and you begin to repent, and you are totally repenting for your life and your family, you mention each names of them, hallelujah, Lord, take it away from me, and the Lord receive such prayers. Now, once he receives such prayers from you, prepare, because the next blessing that the next thing that will take place is blessings that will be rained upon you hallelujah be glad then now remember this when the priest began to repent he says in verse 18 then the lord will be jealous for his land and pity his people look at what it says in verse 23 he says now be glad i will cause the former rain the former rain and the latter rain look at what it says in verse 24 and the the floors shall be full of width meaning your floors your dwelling place will be full of prosperity and your vats shall overflow with wine and with oil. You will not lack any good thing. God will begin to increase you. Amen. Hallelujah. God will begin to pour blessings upon you. Look at what it says in verse 25. And I will restore to you. Oh boy. I will restore to you. I will restore to you. I will restore to you. I will rest. I don't know who I'm talking to. There are two or three people I'm talking to. Everybody are hearing me now. I will restore to you. I will restore to you. It is a very deep message. I will restore to you the years that the locusts had hidden. I will restore to you the time that was wasted. I will restore to you the what the credit cards company have stolen from you. I will restore to you all the sickness and disease. All those good times that you did, that was taken away from you. I will restore. I will restore. I will restore. I will restore the times you were crying and you were wondering, where is my God? He says, what? I will restore. I will restore to you the years that the locust has, has hidden. I will restore the, to you the locust has hidden, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, all the days that divorce have wiped away your joy. The relationships are scattered. He said, I will restore to you my great army which I send among you. Look at what it says in verse 26. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. Ye shall eat in plenty and be what satisfied. Praise the name of the Lord your God that had dwelt wondrously, dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed again. And my people shall never be ashamed again. And my people shall never be ashamed again. Turn your heart with prayer, with fastings. Turn your heart with weeping. Turn your heart with mourning unto the Lord. And 
when you shall after you do that and you begin to repent he says what and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the lord your god you begin to testify and that had dwelt wondrously with you and my people those who have fasted those who have forgiven those who have prayed those who have let go of offenses he said and my people shall never 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 be ashamed again god will begin to lift you up god will begin to celebrate you it says they gave verse 27 and ye shall know that i'm in the midst of israel and that i am the lord your god none else and my people shall never be ashamed again look how it says and it shall come to pass afterward i will pour my spirit upon you upon your flesh i will pour upon my spirit upon you upon your flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy all of a sudden there's an anointing there's an outpouring of god's grace that comes upon you as a result of obedience amen the anointing of god the glory of God will come upon you. Your children will begin to have good dreams. They will begin to be visited by God. Your husband will begin to prophesy from his from his sleep. Hallelujah. Old men will begin to dream dreams of God. Young men will have their passion to begin to serve. Hallelujah. There will be prayer everywhere, busting on every side. The glory of God will manifest as a result of one person. Your family will say, I'm getting saved. I saw the Lord Jesus in my dream. He says, Lord, he says, and also the upon the servants, upon the handmaids in those days, I will pour my spirit. I will show wonders in earth. God is saying that as a result of this fasting, as a result of your obedience, I will begin to turn this around. I will begin to have have pity upon you. I will begin to rain from heaven, the glory of the Lord. I will begin to pour upon you the former and the latter rain that is due upon you. Everything that was hindered, all your areas, all your blessings. Oh God, God will begin to release it in these next three days. Prepare. Prepare yourself for God is about to meet with you. God is about to pour fresh wine upon you. God is about to bring to you all the wealth that was wasted, all the wealth that was stolen. When the thief is caught, he will restore sevenfold. God is about to restore sevenfold of all the blessings that is due to you in the name of Jesus look at look at our other scripture that we see look at our other scripture that we see very soon that's the last scripture we're going to be looking at job 20 with the book of job hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus mm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, Jesus. Joe 22. Joe 22, right now. Look at it very quickly. Joe 22, verse. Job 22 verse 21 it says acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace thereby good thereby good thereby good thereby good acquaint now thyself with him thereby good shall return upon thee acquaint now thyself with him be at peace thereby good shall come upon thee receive i pray thee the law from his mouth laid up in thy heart if thou return to the almighty god if thou cleanse yourself if thou walk in the level of consecration if thou return to the almighty thou shall be built up built up lucifer has so much stones in him sapphire all kinds of beautiful stones you will get your stone when you return to the almighty thou shall be built up thou shall put put what away iniquity he didn't say him he says you you will be the one to say you know what enough of envy enough of jealousy enough of adultery enough of sin in my heart enough of anger i put you away he said if thou will what shall put far away iniquity if thou shall put away iniquity far away from thy tabernacle far away from thy temple far away from your heart far away you drive out iniquity far away from your family you put iniquity far from the place of prayer when you bend your knees after you prayed after god he says you will not send a formal rain after when the former rain begins to fall he says in verse 24 then thou shall lay up gold as dust thou shall lay up gold as dust thou shall lay up prosperity as the lord and the verse 25 the almighty god shall be thy defense and thou shall have plenty 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 of silver plenty of silver 
and for them that shall have thy delight and shall lift up thy face unto God. Ha, ha, ha. And thou shalt make thy prayer unto him. He shall hear thy prayer and thou shalt pay thy vows. You can't pay your vows when you are walking in lack. You can't pay your vows when there's poverty. Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. And the light shall shine upon thy ways. The light of God will shine upon thy ways you will not walk you will not walk in darkness you will walk in the light of god hallelujah i love that verse 29 it says when men are cast down thou shalt say there is a lifting up he shall save the humble person hallelujah he shall deliver the island of the innocent hallelujah and he, he and it is delivered by the pureness of thy hands hallelujah we thank you for this word what a word what a message that was brought to us from the throne of grace father we thank you for this message thank you for the mysteries that was unveiled today thank you holy spirit for cleansing us oh god for revealing to us from the depth of our hearts that we must position ourselves to receive from you on high prosperity is truly healing god true prosperity not lavish lifestyle not a style that you want to just take for yourself but when you live a life of consecration when you position yourself to be blessed by the lord the lord will exalt you will lift you up hallelujah he will walk you to ride in the high places of the earth he will cause shame to be removed from the faces of your children and your life and your family your husband your children will be a zeal. they will call their names among the whites among the blacks they will just stand out among the chinese asian your children will just stand up they will be the head amen they will be the head you will just see god everywhere they go they will excel everywhere they go teachers will love them everywhere they go they will be the head they will be a shining star that was what happened to joseph everywhere he went he excelled he was the it was the head he was a leader why because of cleansing i pray for you today that you will be the head and not the tail i pray for you today that the light that shine in daniel that gave him favor that gave him favor may that say favor rest upon you by the power in the holy ghost i bless you in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost as you hear my voice i say receive the brahmic blessings receive the priestly blessings from today as you go into this fasting from today hallelujah it's going to be liquid all three days no food just liquid some of us are gonna go just no water and no food absolute no water no food for the next three days hallelujah so no liquid or or liquid amen hallelujah but no solid food at all for the next 72 hours hallelujah i bless you in the name of the father the son and the holy ghost may god give us the strength the total strength may the lord uphold us the same spirit that drove jesus into the wilderness let the same spirit drive us to the place of fasting drive us to finish the fast with strength with grace on the almighty i pray for everyone listening to the sound of my voice that you'll be healed in the in the lord may May you abide in that secret place. May you be untouchable. May you be unmovable in the name of Jesus. May you rest in God. May your mind be stayed upon him in the name of Jesus. May his eyes be upon you. May, may sin be far away from you. Your tabernacle. Today, spend time praying today. Today, spend time praying and asking God, whatsoever sin has become an hindrance, Lord, have mercy. Whatsoever addiction has become a sin in my life, it become a concern. Every addiction, every iniquity, Lord, wipe it out for me. I am tired of this thing. Break it away from my life. Hallelujah. If you are tired of smoking, tired of drinking, Lord, break it it away from me break it away from me break it away from me hallelujah lord i receive strength from the almighty today to be blessed from on high hallelujah are you blessed are you blessed are you blessed god is going to release something precious after you pray to, listen when you begin to repent today some of you uh, many times when i do prayer uh, repentance is day one the lord starts speaking to me day one the lord begins to appear to me some of you will have visitations of the lord they want, they want, they want, they want. God will take you to begin to reveal deep things in your heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen to me. If you are doing absolute liquid, please tell your husband, tell your wife, no sex. Amen. Till you break your fast. If you are doing liquid, absolute liquid, and no water, no food, no sex is allowed. Amen. Till you finish your fast. And we're finishing on Saturday, 12th 
a.m. in the morning. Please stay tuned because many times I'm going to call on Periscope and intervals when the Lord allows me to come and bring a message of the Lord for you. The Lord bless you, the Lord grace you, the Lord empower you, and the Lord hide you in the secret place of the Most High. May you dwell in that secret place. May, may His love overshadow you this day in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord.